There's a bit of a party going on at Winchester City Park. As people come together to celebrate the opening of the Thames Ford Blue Way. It's a day of speeches. Uh, Thames Ford Blue Way was developed to promote tourism in Franklin County and to encourage recreation, ecological education, and preservation of wildlife resources. And food. Getting them ready for the crowd when the speakers get finished here. Stand up paddle boards. And kayaks filled with folks who want to give paddling a try. That's good, you want to sit up straight when you paddle? Tennessee has many waterways and paddling opportunities. We do not have the white water in Middle Tennessee that East Tennessee has, but uh, we have everything from the Cumberland River to different tributaries and various lakes. With more than 60,000 miles of moving water in our state, there's plenty of paddling adventures just waiting to be experienced. And to make it even easier to get out there and explore, Tennessee has developed a series of trails on the water called Blue Ways. Blue Ways are like a greenway. It's a designated location that's mapped, that has supporting information for folks that are interested in paddle sports to get out on the water and have fun and get some exercise and bring along their friends or bring along their family and maybe go camping, or go fishing, stand up paddle boarding, kayaking, canoeing. Unlike Tennessee's other blue ways, the one at Tim's Ford is on a lake. That means paddlers need to be aware they'll be sharing the water with bigger, faster boats. So it's a good idea to wear some bright colors to make yourself more visible. Keep an eye out for those faster motor boats. And when possible, kind of hug the shoreline to keep yourself out of harm's way. It's really essential that you be prepared before you come out to the Blue Way. Life jackets are number one. You have to have a life jacket. Children 12 and under are required to wear it. Everyone else is required to have one, but we strongly encourage people to just go ahead and wear it. Tim's Ford Blue Way, the first ever on a lake in our state, is actually a series of trails spread out across the lake's nearly 11,000 acres north from Essel Springs in Franklin County, down southeast to Winchester, and as far west as Moore County. What we've done is we've set up some campsites along the way. We've got some on TWA land, some on Tim Sword State Park land. We have six islands on the lake and we issue permits for those campsites. So it's basically a trail on the water that people can follow, the same as you would on land except you're on the water. One of those campsites is on Devil Step Island, just a short paddle from the shore. The Elk River used to run through here, and when we've sent scuba divers down there, they say it's an incredible drop-off, hence the name Devil Step. Something neat about the island is that it does have an old cemetery on the island, and it dates around the late 1800s, so it's just kind of a little extra perk when you go camping. It's a nice, remote camping location, kind of back off the water in the woods a little bit with some nice shade, and we really enjoyed it. If the primitive camping at Devil's Step is a little too primitive for your taste, don't worry. This Blue Way has something for everyone. If you want to glam camp here, you can glam camp. If you want a primitive camp, you can primitive camp. Uh, if you need the hotel with the running water and the restaurant next door, we have all that so we can accommodate anyone. You can customize your route from a couple of hours to a couple of days. It's mostly for non-motorized boats, but of course motorized boats can use it. We have six islands that you can camp on. It's easy to get a camping permit through Tim's Ford State Park. Just call the state park and they can issue a permit up to one month in advance of your expected Blue Way paddle date. Park Ranger Ashley Cook hopes these new water trails will help other people discover one of her favorite things to do. I love paddling. I live on the lake and so one of my favorite things to do is go out and kayak and paddle around and take it all in and relax after work. Being close to nature is really important to me and this is one way that I can do it while um, exercising and relaxing at the same time. I can go as fast as I want to, I can slow down, I can take pictures, I can have a picnic, I can um, you know, bring my family or I can go solo. It's just a, a nice way to experience nature. 
Sitting in the shadow of the Cumberland Plateau, Tim's Ford might not be our state's largest or most visited lake, but people who live near its peaceful and picturesque waters know what a natural treasure it is. It's a jewel, but we're trying to unearth it so it's not hidden anymore. We have 10,700 acres of lake and with 246 miles of shoreline. There's not many communities in Tennessee that can boast that. And we really work hard to try to preserve our natural resources so everyone can come enjoy them. I'm Ken Tucker on the Wild Side.